My name's Mr. Prescott, I'm Head of Chemistry. Chemistry is one of those subjects where the uh, topics are introduced and then they reappear um, in older years and you study them with uh, greater depth and sophistication. So you've met many of the topics in A-level chemistry. So acids and bases, equilibria, calculations, thermochemistry, you know what these subjects are like. If you've met a bit of organic chemistry in year 11, you will find, and you like it, you will find that uh, you'll enjoy that at A-level. So what I'm saying is if you, if you think you enjoy chemistry now, you're probably right. If you, chemistry at A-level is, does have some maths, but you don't have to be doing A-level maths to study chemistry. Um, I think if you can do the calculations at GCSE, you'll be all right at A-level. If you were thinking of perhaps doing a chemistry degree in the future, and that's a little way off, then it would be a good idea to do A-level maths, but otherwise, uh, if you're mathematical, you'll be fine. There are three papers at the end of the course, and the practical work is assessed uh, throughout the course by a series of required practicals a little bit like GCSE. If, you want, if you're thinking of doing medicine or dentistry in the future, chemistry, chemistry A-level is almost compulsory, but it supports another, a number of other science degrees you might wish to study. And in fact, uh, if you've got your eye on some high-powered job, chemistry A-level is very handy on your CV.